Capturing kids on film can be a very hard thing to do. So when it happens, you might have a couple problems that have popped up because you've been shooting from the cuff. One of these might be red eye, or maybe they're too small in the frame and you need to make an enlargement by cropping the photo. Well, I happen to have an example of all of this right here, and I want to show you what we can do with it. This is our photo. And as you can see, we've got way more couch than we need, and we've got that monster movie mayhem happening in the eyes there with the red eye. So we're going to take care of all of this. And the best part is we're going to do it without ever touching our computer. Well, I just lied. I'm going to touch it to close it. Let's get started. Start by putting the photo on the scanner bed. Then from the touch screen, select Scan. Scan to memory card. You're going to want to be sure at this point that you actually have your memory card inserted into the Epson Artisan. Here you can choose the different settings, such as format. I'm going to go with JPEG. It's pretty universal. Scan area. When you select auto cropping for the scan area, this is going to cut out the rest of the scanner bed and leave you with just the photo. Document. Well, it is in fact a photograph. Quality. Best. Sounds good to me. And we're ready to go. And now everything is left to the Epson Artisan as it actually scans the photograph onto your memory card. Let's start off by taking the red eye out of the photo. I select Menu, Photo Adjustments, and you'll see Fix Red Eye. It's off for this photo, so let's turn it on. All right. Now, you may notice, especially when we crop in a little bit, the red eye is still going to be visible. Well, that's just on the touch screen display. The actual red eye removal happens during the printing process. All right, let's make our crop. Hit Display Crop, zoom in a bit, and then position the crop where you'd like it on the photo. Hmm, it's looking pretty good to me. I'm going to hit OK. And we'll see our new crop photo. And once again, you may notice the red eye here on the screen, but the red eye won't show up in the print because that's where the magic happens. It's looking pretty good. Let's try one more step and turn on the auto-correct feature. Hmm, I'm liking this print so much, I think I might like a larger version of it. So what I've done is I've put some 5 by 7 photo paper into my Epson Artisan. We can enlarge the picture this way. Let's see. I'm going to go to Menu, Print Settings, Paper Size. And I'm just going to make sure that I do, in fact, have the 5 by 7 inch paper selected. OK. And from there, you're ready to go. Hit OK, and you're on your way to having a fabulous print. So where we started, up here in the scanner bed, we can see that we had the red eye. Well, there was way more room around the outside than we actually needed. And the picture was kind of small. So we cropped it, we removed the red eye, and then we enlarged the photo so that it looks just like this. Pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, starting out over here and ending up over here, that's pretty cool. Epson, exceed your vision.